Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time here. I make videos about Excel. Today we're going back to basics and looking at creating a table in Excel. It's quickly done with built-in formatting. It's done for you with a couple of clicks and by arranging your data in a table, your data can be organized neatly and clearly presented. But not only does your data look good when it's converted to a table, you can automatically get some access to some very useful features such as automatic calculations and powerful sorting and filtering. So let's get started with an example. So I've got a simple data set here that most people will be familiar with. Data for a table is usually set up where there's some column headings, I've got some sales people and I've got some sales in this row running from January to June 24. So let's convert this data to a table to get it looking clear and well organized. Your data, you can select it manually or if you put your data in the data set and hit Control A, Excel will suggest the data for your table. Next, navigate to the Home tab and if we go along to the Styles group, you can see Format as Table. Excel will suggest some that are pre-formatted for you and if you're new to this, then probably suggest that you select one of the pre-formatted ones, but you there is the option to create your own as well. But let's just stick with the basics today and let's select the light green. So straight away, another another window pops up and it, it asks for confirmation of where your data for your table is, which is correct here. And if your data has column headers, then ensure that my table has column headers ticked and hit OK. If you untick my table has column headers, then Excel will insert column headers for you. You can see here and name them for you for how name them and in however many columns you have. That's not what we want because our columns do have headers. So then we will format as table. Let's select the green. So this is just an introduction to creating a table, but let's look at some of the cool stuff that you automatically get by converting your data to a table. If you wanted to add in another column, say for July, all you do is select the column to the, to the right of your last column and just start typing. And Excel will automatically insert another column for you. Just as if you, if you wanted to add another row, just start typing. And again, Excel will insert another row for you automatically. And all of the correct formatting is applied automatically. So you might or might have not noticed that when we select a data table, there's a new tab that does come up and it's called table design. And once you click out, the table design goes. Once you click in, it's now available for you to use. So let's take a look at some of the basics that we can do with the table design. So first let's go back to the last number of styles. There's a lot you can choose from. You can just hover over and Excel will give you a little preview of it. I'll choose something a little darker just for demonstration. So let's look at the, some of the options available in, in the table design. We can click total row and that will give us a total. We can also then just drag this along normally and we now have totals for each of our columns. And interestingly, you don't have to have the same function for each of these down box on any of these columns. You get a selection of functions available. So for this one, June, I could select the average. And for January, I could say the count. So I've got four records there. So you don't need to have the same function in each of your columns. You can just go back to the table design and untick the total row if you decide not to use it. So let's run through some of the other table design features. First column highlights the first column. Last column highlights the last column and banded columns. And if you select banded columns, then every other row is highlighted. If you want to remove the table, what you can do is select your data, right click, and then select the table option and convert to range. And this will convert your data back to a normal range. You can see now the formatting has stuck, but it's not a data table anymore. I'm not getting the table design 
tab come up. So that was a really quick introduction to Excel tables, how they can help you organize your data. And it also unlocks a few, a few cool functions in Excel automatically where you can add in extra columns and extra rows just by typing in the data and Excel will copy the formatting. It also unlocks some automatic functions in the data tables, such as totals, average, counts. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.